Welcome to this quick start video tutorial on the Datasift platform. The tutorial walks you through creating a filter to provide a real-time stream of social interactions relating to the Starbucks brand. Open datasift.com dashboard in a web browser and log in to your account. Datasift is a single platform with access to a large number of social media data sources. You need to enable one or more data sources before writing a filter. In this example, we will enable Twitter. Click the Data Sources tab to see all possible sources. Notice the sources are currently inactive. Locate the Twitter source and click Activate. When the form is complete, click on Agree. When a summary of the source is displayed, click on the Data Sources tab again. Now I have activated the Twitter source, I'll check which augmentations are already enabled. Augmentations enrich the interaction and are added by the Datasift platform to give context to the message. You may need to sign a license for some of these. I'll select Free Sources and Augmentations are displayed with a purple tag. Clout Score is a measure of the author's online influence and is already activated. Gender, Interaction and Language Detection are also activated. Let's search for Sentiment and check if it is enabled. Sentiment is the measure of positive or negative sentiment in the content or title of the interaction. I'll activate it. Now the data source is enabled, you can create a filter. Let's select the Streams tab. and click the Create Stream button. Give your new filter a name. I'll call mine Starbucks. You can also add a description. There are two choices of editor, the Query Builder or CSDL Code Editor. Query Builder is a browser-based tool that allows you to create and edit filters without learning the Datasift Curated Stream Definition Language, CSDL. I'm going to use the CSDL Code Editor. Select it and click on Start Editing. Targets are source attributes you search on. Operators determine how we match a target and an argument is what we are searching for. When you start typing a target, a list appears to help with your selection. Targets appear in blue. An operator follows a target and are in red. Enclose string arguments in double quotes and these appear in green. I have entered the twitter.text target followed by the contains operator and the argument Starbucks, which is not case sensitive. This will match every tweet which has the word Starbucks anywhere in the tweet message. This is a simple filter, so I'll add more conditions to filter on the extra information Datasift adds to interactions. Clout is an augmentation. The score ranges from 0 to 100. I'll filter on interactions that have a clout score greater than 40. Integers are not enclosed in quotes. Now we have two filter conditions. Let's add a third. This time we'll create a condition based on the sentiment of the interactions, looking for positive comments. I can look for sentiment in the content or title I've selected content for this example. 
the scale is from negative 100 to positive 100, although it's rare to see sentiment at these extremes of the scale. We want any level of positivity, so select a value which is at least 1. Now we have three filter conditions, we need to define how they work together. We can add OR, which means we see interactions if any one of the filter conditions are matched. I'm going to use AND, which means we see interactions if all of the filter conditions are matched. It is also possible to configure more complex logic using brackets. This Starbucks stream contains filter conditions which matches positive sentiment tweets with Starbucks in the tweet text from authors with a clout score greater than 40. Click Save and Close. A summary of the configured stream is shown along with the cost in data processing unit hours. The next step is to preview the stream of interactions matched by the filter conditions. Click the Live Preview button. In the summary of sources, check that Twitter is listed. And click the play button and we'll see who's talking about Starbucks on Twitter. Within a couple of seconds, interactions will start appearing. Now we have some interactions, I'll pause the stream. Check the augmentation icons below each message. You'll see each one has a clout score of 40 or greater. And the smiley shows they are comments with a positive sentiment. For more detailed information, mouse over the tweet and click the bug which appears. The debug window shows the tweet data and all the extra augmented data provided by the Datasift platform. Well done, you're looking at a stream of interactions which match a filter you configured with three logical conditions. Keep playing with CSDL, see how specific you can be about the interactions you receive. Maybe write filters for your brand or product.